But here, on their remote farm at this undisclosed location in the mountains... It takes a lot of plants. We're, we're allowed to grow six per patient. They have been growing something different, something they call revolutionary. So Greenhouse One. Greenhouse One, yes, welcome to it. Welcome wow. to paradise. Behind closed doors and under tight security, we enter what the Stanleys call the Garden of Eden. There's nothing like this in the world. This plant's 21% CBD and less than 1% THC. It took years of crossbreeding plants to get to this point. Instead of breeding up the THC, we've bred down the THC and bred up the CBD. And people said, you're crazy. You know, who's going to smoke that? So why grow it then? Well, the Stanleys also believed in CBD's potential to treat many diseases. And they had seen it change lives before. I always have two strains. Meet 19-year-old Chaz Moore. He uses many different strains of marijuana, many of them high in CBD, to treat his rare disorder of the diaphragm. My abs will, like, lock up. That's why he's talking this way, almost speaking in hiccups, like he can't catch his breath. It's called myoclonus diaphragmatic flutter. This fluttering here, it's annoying, and it, but it becomes painful yeah. um, well, pretty quickly, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, after like 15, 20 minutes, this is where I can like start to really feel it. He's about to show me how the marijuana works. He's been convulsing now for seven minutes. How quickly do you expect this to work? Within like the first five minutes. And I'm done. Like That's it. That's it. It was actually less than a minute. Depending on the attack and the day, like, it'll work within the first couple hits. Hear how his voice is completely different. That attack lasted eight minutes. But some have lasted much longer and happen as often as 40 times a day. And like Charlotte, he had tried so many things before. By 16, Chaz was taking these powerful, addictive, potentially deadly narcotics and muscle relaxants daily, like Valium and morphine. It would be safe to say that that marijuana, what you have in your hand there, is better than all those pills for you in terms of treating what's yeah, going on? Yeah, I wouldn't, I'm not zombified. I've had 16, 17 attacks today, and I'm still sitting up talking to you. My first attack on all these, I'd be in the hospital. I'm a firm believer that marijuana has actually saved my son's life. Chaz's father, Sean. His uh, quality of life now is a thousand times better than what it was when he was on the pharmaceuticals. 